When bugs go to war, there are no rules, no sense of fair play, and no concept of picking on someone your own size. When a marble scorpion takes on a trap jaw ant, size will matter. But will bigger be better? This ancient rainforest is home to one of the bug world's most durable survivors, the marbled scorpion. Its weapons might be primitive, but they've been tested by time. Scorpions have chased down their prey for more than 300 million years. They're really evolutionary survivors in that they are effective predators that know how to get the job done. The scorpion's tools of the trade are an ostentatious display of murderous intent. Anything but concealed weapons. Scorpions have two main weapons. They have their pinchers, where they're able to grab prey, hold it, and tear it apart. In addition, they have the tail with a venomous stinger at the end. So they're able to grab prey, crush it, and sting it. Scorpion venom can kill in an instant. But its eyesight is weak. Instead, the scorpion locates its prey with sensory organs that work like high-tech antennae. They've got something that are known as pectines behind their fourth pair of legs on their belly. They act like radar, so they're very sensitive to chemical information, to vibratory information on the ground below them. The marbled scorpion is also very wily. This cockroach had no idea it was about to become lunch. Grabbed and stung, it's carried away to be ripped apart and devoured. Like spiders, Scorpions prefer their food runny, draining the liquefied flesh of this cockroach. is like sipping a meat martini. When a marbled scorpion goes hunting in the rainforest, most small creatures give it a wide berth. But not all are so easily intimidated. Much smaller in stature and just as determined is the trap jaw ant. And like the scorpion, it comes armed with two fearsome weapons. One at the front, one at the back. The trap jaw sting is very potent. And because they can use it over and over again, they can come in for a first strike, back off, and then just wait for the venom to start to take effect, and then come in for another series of stings to finish the prey off. But the front end is also loaded with a hard-hitting weapon. The trap jaw mandibles open a full 180 degrees, much like a crossbow, and then it's set, all that force waiting. The minute something touches one of the delicate sensory hairs on the inside, snap shut with incredible force. The peak force is equal to 300 times the ant's body weight. And the speed is astonishing. <laughs> 2,300 times faster than the blink of a human eye. The force is so strong, it can actually pop the prey open. 
Sort of like a melon being crushed to expose the soft inside. What a way to go. Trap jaw ants aren't afraid of a battle. Neither is the marbled scorpion. And it won't be long before their combat skills are put to the test. Next, a veteran killer versus an army of ants. Then, one jumps, one spits, one dies. As darkness creeps over the rainforest, the marbled scorpion goes looking for food. Also out scouting for a meal, a trapjaw ant. The ant forages, unaware of the scorpion camouflaged on a rock. Eventually, it sees it. And the ant has only one response. Attack. The scorpion leads with its left, but can't score a hit. The ant counters with sharp jabs from its jaws, like a stun gun. Each blow sends shock waves through the scorpion's body. It's hurting badly. The lone ant calls for reinforcements. These ants, they're constantly in communication with each other through touch, body movement, the use of chemical signals. The call to arms is fast and effective. Troops arrive in force. This doesn't look good. Scorpion should get out of there as quick as possible. The scorpion is totally outnumbered. Stingers plunge into its body, all over its limbs. Multiple stings send deadly venom coursing throughout the hapless scorpion's body cavity. Totally paralyzed. Those once fearsome claws are useless. The marble scorpion is destined for a marble mausoleum. A scorpion known for its venom is being taken down by an ant that isn't known for its sting, but is absolutely known for its jaws. It's the ultimate indignity. A rainforest supremo is dragged from its rocky pedestal to be cut apart and fed to ant larvae. 